Hi, I'm Ezra and I'm trans and this is how I figured out I'm trans part two. We're going to talk about gender dysphoria. My earliest memory of this was when I was a child, I remember saying to my mum that I can't wait for my voice to drop and then she told me that it won't, which made me feel sad. <laughs> and I have started testosterone now and I've been on it for nearly six weeks, so my voice actually will drop. <laughs> I think my biggest obstacle in my day-to-day -day life is my chest dysphoria. So I wear a bind on most days. Some days I do have to take breaks though because obviously I want to safely bind and not hurt myself. So of course I can't wear a binder while sleeping or while working out, going to the gym, anything like that. So I tend to not really go to the gym because I get way too much gender dysphoria from not being able to bind. But the good news is I have a consultation with Miles Berry for top surgery in just over a week. And you know what that means? That means that I'm going to have top surgery this year. So, bye.